What's going on, y'all? Uh, I just wanted to come out here and uh, give y'all a heads up what's going on in the video. So it's the second week of January now. We've had a couple hunts. We've uh, we've been working some puppies and uh, we've took some grown dogs and all had a couple hunts, but mainly this year so far, we're just uh, trying to work some younger dogs, some puppies, get them in the woods. What's going on, everybody? My name is Byron. I'm here with TRC and I'm with Bryce today. As you can see, it's two of us today. Usually it's a, a third one, but we're missing old Travis. He, uh, he had Taco Tuesday on a Sunday night. But he's here in the spirit. Let's give him that. He's right with him. But, uh, yeah, we uh, we filmed a couple hunts. We're going to get into and break them down for you. And hope you all enjoy. All right, on this, uh, this first hunt you're going to see, we met up about 7 o'clock. Met up with the guys and the property owners of this club. We went to, went to hunt and... We probably had dogs on the ground, 7.45, 8. Um, right out of the box, dogs, they was rolling. I mean, they, they was hunting their tails off. There's nothing against them at all. Uh, I don't think the the sign was there like it was explained to be. Let's just put it that way. But uh, so the, the first half of that morning, dogs, they hunted, and we just didn't get on anything. Uh, about 11 o'clock, we stopped. We broke bread, ate, Trevor Colson, he, he blessed us with some chili beans. We warned him chili things beans. up. And then uh, we just decided to ride around and look for signs. So uh, first place we seen the freshest stuff, it was tracks going into a briar thicket. And we turned the dogs loose and it was about six or seven minutes. Sure enough, we, took, we turned them loose and the rest is history. It was a blind hog down. All right, this next clip you're gonna see. So I got a young dog, little puppy named Peanut. That's, uh, that's Caitlin's dog. Yeah. <laughs> Caitlin and Wade. Anyway, he's, he, he's seen a pig in a pen and this was his truly first time on the ground in the woods. We took him to some game management. Well, he did okay, The you know, the first bite. He rolled around in some feces of something, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, we went down to the river, up this way, what we call it, but he learned how to cross water, and that's what you're gonna see in this clip. He, he finally dropped his nuts and done it. So, go peanut. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? You're in these woods with these briars. Come on, what? come on, peanut. Let me go get him. As much as I've done for you, go get him. Come on, peanut. Come on, boy. Yeah, there we go. Good boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, boy. This next clip we got for y'all. Uh... It was maybe 20 minutes out the box. Uh, we had some dogs they cut into a pine thicket. And um, we, heard, uh, we ended up hearing a bark. And from there, the race was on. And the uh, dogs, they got to it. Didn't end up getting a camera to this hog right here. It's uh, phone recorded footage we got for you. But hopefully that's better than nothing. So you got to do what you can do. Uh, About the only thing Snapchat's good for. <laughs> but uh, you end up catching a pretty good, uh, decent boar hog. Cricket, 
All right, so so we when we turned all the dolls loose, you know, we got the boar hog call. Well, there was a couple more dolls that they didn't go into that thicket. They went around it and kept on kept on digging. Well, they was out there cutting circles, cutting loops, and they and they stayed there. They they stayed out there. We got that boar hog caught, and it was probably, I mean, honestly, it was probably about an hour. I would say it was an hour path, and we cut all the other dolls loose again in another spot, another spot farther down. Well, finally, a couple of dolls they come by, and you hear them open up a little bit on track. Well. We started losing them, coming in, in and out of communication or whatnot. And our long range on our side by side, we had some malfunctions with her and she wasn't working. So luckily Trevor, he had his and he let us borrow it. Well, Travis, he hooked up and that's the first thing he said, he said they're treating. So I'm a, there was treating the creek too, finally when we got the handheld to show and Started tracking them a little decent again, so I let Byron finish this fine guy. We ended up uh, getting closer to them by side by side. We got maybe about 300 yards from them, and uh, Travis he had his uh, catch dog Hooch walked uh, Hooch up in there, and we got anywhere between 150 to maybe 100 yards from them. And Bryce he looks back, and you can see it in the video. He says, "I don't hear nothing," and uh, it was strange because. We didn't hear nothing at all. Before we got there, we had a couple yips from the dogs. And, uh, but yeah, walking in there, we didn't hear nothing at all. No movement, uh, nothing. And uh, we ended up getting closer, ended up sending the bulldog. And uh, there's a little bank right there, like he talked about the creek. And uh, there was a little, maybe nine, eight, nine foot drop into this little creek. And uh, once we sent the bulldog, it was a sign of relief seeing him go down to that bottom. Cause once we seen that, we knew we had a little something caught. And uh, yeah, this is that pig right here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it and uh, look forward to the content that we have to bring as we have a lot more hunts planned this year, a uh, lot more adventures to catch on film and just a, a lot more random stuff. But Definitely the random stuff because so we're going to show you the true side <laughs> of it. It ain't all funny games. But hopefully y'all made it this far and if you did, comment, subscribe. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Go cops. <laughs> <laughs> That's going in there. That is going.